The Indian External Affairs Minister will visit Moscow next week for key talks with Russian Foreign Minister, and the visit might also include a meeting with Russian President Putin. India and China are discussing to resume border trade of domestic goods after more than five years. In his speech from the Red Fort, Prime Minister Modi made a clear call that made in India fighter jets must have an Indian jet engine. The Pakistani Prime Minister has awarded a Pakistan Air Force pilot for destroying India's S-400 system, the very same system that was showcased during Prime Minister Modi's visit to Adampur Air Base. The Pakistani Prime Minister has announced the creation of a dedicated army rocket force to strengthen missile capabilities after its defeat against India in May 2025. Prime Minister Modi has announced a new state-of-the-art multi-layered air defense shield project named the Shudar Sun Chakra, that will protect critical national sites across the country by 2035. Nine Indian Air Force fighter pilots have been awarded for carrying out precision strikes on 12 Pakistani air bases and terror infrastructure in POK. Austrian aviation analyst Tom Cooper estimates that 19 Pakistani aircraft were destroyed by India, making it Pakistan Air Force's biggest air combat setbacks in decades. India has condemned Pakistan Army Chief's nuclear threats in the US. Pakistan would be well advised to temper its rhetoric, as any misadventure will have painful consequences, as was demonstrated recently. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has delivered the third Sundar Yak class survey vessel to the Indian Navy. After the recent naval clash deep inside the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, Philippine defense analysts have called to arm Philippines' Navy warships with India's BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles, as deploying them on frontline warships like the Jose Rizal class frigates would greatly extend strike range. India's next-generation BVR missiles will use a boost-coast boost trajectory, in which the missile is propelled to high speed shortly after launching, followed by a coasting phase, in which it coasts without active propulsion, conserving fuel while still in flight, that is followed by a boost in terminal phase, in which it reignites or activates a second propulsion phase to accelerate again before engaging the target. India has stretched its NOTAM warning to 4,790 km over the Bay of Bengal for the period between 20th to 21st August, strongly pointing to the first test of the Agni-6 intercontinental ballistic missile. It will have a range of 12,000 km with heavier payload and 16,000 km range with lighter payload, that will carry 10 MERF payloads and a speed of Mach 25. The Agni-6 represents India's leap into the true intercontinental ballistic missile category, enabling India to reach any target in Asia, Europe and North America. India's GTRE and France's Safran are negotiating a joint venture to develop a 120kN engine for the AMCA, and latest reports indicate that it will be without an adaptive cycle core due to its immature technology, and instead, the design will feature select six generation elements such as a cooler running core, balancing performance and practicality. Safran has pledged a production-ready engine in 10 plus 2 years, targeting AMCA Mark II production by 2035. The Tejas Mark II will get major range and endurance upgrades with new external drop tanks, a 1,300-liter supersonic tank and two 1,800-liter pinched waste tanks. Powered by the F-414 engine, the jet could achieve a 1,000 km plus combat radius, and up to 3.5 hours in combat air patrol missions, that is extendable to 10 hours with air-to-air -air refueling. Today's Top 3 Comments